What's up, folks? I'm Don. This is Rock of the Country. Shout out to Penny Headland for the gift for me to do this request of Ronnie Millsap's song. It was almost like a song. And I don't know this song. So there's song, 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 song going on here. I don't know the song. It was almost like a song. But let's see what Ronnie's got for us, Penny, shall we? Yeah, it's been a minute since I've done a Ronnie song. I know I did, uh, what was it, Mountain Rain? Yeah, anyway, here we go. Smoky Mountain Rain. Classic beginning for a Ronnie song. Once in every life Someone comes along And you came to me It was almost like a song Can't wait to see how he develops you it. You were in my Right where you belong And we were so in love It was almost like a song January through December We had such a perfect year for you each night and it's almost like a song but it's much too sad to write layering here Could have been a crossover too. It's not specifically country. Now my broken heart cries for you each night, and it's almost like a song. Almost like a song, but it's much too sad. He ended it on such a pretty note that diddling, it's almost lullaby-ish to such a sad song. It was too sad to write. The lyrics were, they were in way, they were few, but they were way more complex than might have met the mind because it was a song that was written about a song that couldn't be written. So it's almost like a precursor. It was a precursor to a song that would never be written because that song was too sad. Great relationship for a year, January to December. And then that word December and ember rhymed. Their love became a dying ember. Well, because she wasn't there. Didn't say why she wasn't there, but obviously when you have heartbreak like this, it's because she left, not because she passed away. 
I mean, you'd have heartbreak if someone passed away, but it's different. It's pain of a different sort than when somebody just leaves you by choice versus by death. And this one, you know, the orchestral aspect of it too. I almost envisioned this thing being done. It, it could have been done. Slight modifications to lyrics. It could have been done in a church with the choir behind them, but they brought that in. And Ronnie is a pianist, and so obviously has uh, an affinity for toward um, orchestral arrangements because all of his songs. I mean, he's got like the grand piano. Uh, when he goes on tour, I'm sure they have a very special box for his piano that he gets to play because the, he wants to play in his own piano. So when that thing travels with him, it's not like a guitar that you know the guy the stagehands can put it in a case and take on behalf of Eric Clapton or some musician, the piano goes and that thing's got to be carried, cared for. Don't scratch that thing or Ron is going to fire you. But um, yeah, Penny, that was very pretty. I don't know. Sometimes when you folks request songs of me to react to, it's some insight into your own life because sometimes the song speaks to your life. This one spoke to mine. I get it. And <laughs> So sometimes I wonder, you know, did this happen to you or is it just a song that you like and um, and not you specifically, Penny? I mean, just generally, whether somebody makes a gift request or not, that regular request, I still wonder, OK, why was that requested every so often? Because some songs are close to home and you're like, oh, crap, I hope whoever requested it didn't deal with that. But I know in the case of divorce or maybe someone passing away, it's far more common, especially the older we get, that this has happened to, to us. So, all right, I'm going to rate that. Simple lyrics, but designedly so. It wasn't for lack of thought. It was, it was thinking about refraining from lyricism or additional words because it was just too sad to write, as he said in here. So the number that popped into my head was an 8.6. It was like a grown-up lullaby of sadness. That's how I would call that. It wasn't a happy lullaby, but he ended it with a doing, like an up note instead of a down lilt. And you're like, wow, what's that about? Is his heart reviving? Uh, to, you know, I could read into that any which way, but, uh, you know, so could you but I won't do it any further. So, Penny, thank you for the gift. That was beautiful. Ronnie Millsap has a beautiful voice presentation, just a beautiful way about him. And his you know, piano playing, obviously, is beautiful, as is his voice. So there we go, folks. You can leave your comments for Penny, for me, for anybody, and uh, be kind along the way. Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country.